everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Dani in today's video I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful pillow it is super easy and quick to make super squishy the stitch we're using is very very dense so it makes this pillow super fluffy and soft before we get started, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. And I also want to mention that you have the written instructions on my blog. The link is going to be in the description box of this video. And you will also find two different sizes. We're doing in here a large in this video and you have two extra sizes on my blog. So if you want to make a smaller um, pillow you can have that for free on my blog so now uh, without further ado let's get into the tutorial so for this pattern you're gonna need an eight millimeter crochet hook your tapestry needle scissors and your yarn i'm using bernard blanket by yarn inspirations this one is in the color gold and it is a category six super bulky in the chenille type i used one skin and a half of this one but you can have the exact amount that i used linked in the description box i'm gonna leave all the details there and you will also need a pillow insert this one is 16 by 16 inches so you're gonna begin with your foundation chain and for the size we're making like i said it is 16 by 16 inches you're gonna need 32 chains the 32 chains are gonna give us a 16 inches wide now in the second chain from the hook insert your hook and start crocheting single crochet so you're gonna do for row number one single crochet all across your chain you should have 31 stitches now for row number two we're gonna do the stitch that i call the extended single crochet so you're gonna insert your hook pull up a loop and then insert your hook in the stitch below yarn over pull through the three loops loops on your hook and repeat and in the next stitch you're going to insert your hook then insert in the stitch below and close a little bit closer in here insert pull up a loop then insert in the stitch below from the previous row pull up a loop then yarn over and pull through th the three loops on your hook and repeat you're gonna do this all the way across um, the 31 stitches make sure you are counting the stitches and you're placing the stitch below um, or inserting your hook where it should be now for the next row we're going to chain one turn and this row it's going to be single crochet all across so basically what we're doing is alternating row one and two so keep going now for the next one we repeat row two so chain one turn and we're gonna do the extended single crochet insert your hook then insert your hook in the stitch below and in here like i said you have to try to make sure you're you're inserting the hook in the right stitch in the previous row so that your square it's going to be nice and straight and also making sure that you're not skipping any stitches so that you have the 31 stitches all the way um, through your project that way we're not gonna have a crooked square missing stitches etc so every now and then count your stitches and now continue until row 38 or until you have 16 inches and you should make two panels in order to create your pillowcase so in here you can see both sides have a different look and you're gonna want to choose which one is gonna be your right side so once you choose that you're going to place both panels with the wrong side facing each other just like that and now insert your hook in the top right corner and now we're going to proceed to close 
the pillowcase with a slip stitch. So all you gotta do is slip stitch all the way around and we're gonna leave only one side open that way we can put our pillow inside and there you can also get creative and if you wanna add a zipper or buttons that's totally up to you so here we have the one side open and once you have your pillow inside proceed to close if that's what you want to do and like i said you can also add a zipper or buttons whatever you want but i don't need that so i'm just closing and once you're done just fasten off and weave in your end and that's it that's super easy and quick it took me less than two hours to make because you know it's super bulky and it works up super fast and i absolutely love it you guys know me i had to make it in a master color and i think the texture is amazing like i said it is so soft and squishy i absolutely love this pillow i'm going to be making more in different colors to put them all throughout my house because they're super quick to make and so beautiful so i hope you guys enjoyed if so please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions please leave them down below also check out my blog for the free um, pattern as well as the different sizes and yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye